Let's say you are walking in a parking lot or you are going to home or you are in a bus or you are just somewhere possibly where you found a USB drive or flash drive. What will you do? Let me guess. Run away to home and plug in into your PC to see whatever hidden content is available in that USB flash drive. Am I right? Yeah. If I were you, I would not do that. Congratulations, you just got hacked. Yes, a device disguised as a flash drive will hack you. Let's find out how. So, the device you've just plugged in uh, into your PC uh, is none other than the bad USB. Alternatively, also known as USB rubber ducky. First of all, let me tell you what USB rubber ducky is. The USB rubber ducky is a device disguised as flash drive or a pen drive, you can say, which has higher possibility to steal your data or install malicious software or backdoor in your system, and so on. So it can do many things, you know, as it, it has been programmed, right? So what makes this device so dangerous? First of all, even it looks like a USB flash drive, it doesn't act like that. A normal USB flash drive acts as a mass storage, which is possibly scanned by the antivirus program or if you are using Windows Defender then you know Windows 10 or Windows 11 then it will be scanned by the Windows Defender as soon as you plugged in your PC or your system but bad USB acts like a HID or human interface device just like the keyboard so your system will detect that bad USB as keyboard and believe me when I say this but the bad USB can type faster than you or me. In a split second it will execute the malicious code or command and you are done. Enough with the talk, let me show you how to make a custom USB rubber ducky with uh, low cost and in a minimal budget like it's like a DIY project all right but before that remember guys this is only for educational purpose educational and informational purpose to show you how can you save yourselves from this sort of attack or device this channel does not support your unethical intention so make sure you use this only for eth eth ethical purpose. I'm doing this into my own system where I have complete control. I'm not doing this into other people's computer. All right. So remember guys, you will see the potential of this sort of device and you will know how to prevent it also. All right. The USB rubber ducky can be purchased from Hack5 which may cost you around $49.99 but in our case we are going to spend only around five, $5 to make this device and it works exactly like the U rubber ducky USB rubber ducky from the hack5 the device I wanted to show you is this Raspberry Pi Pico now if you don't know what is Raspberry Pi Pico it is a low-cost, high-performance microcontroller board, which can be programmed as per your requirement. You can buy this in Amazon or any other website or any other places it may be found. So get one of this device and follow me. But before, I want you guys to change this. How sad is this? Only two point. 2% of you are subscribed to my channel. Support me to grow and I will provide you exciting content on daily basis. Those who are new to my channel, consider subscribing my channel and hit the bell icon 
so in future you won't miss any video all right now let's go making bad usb now uh, connect your raspberry pi pico into your system and it will show as mass storage device you can see your uh, raspberry pi like rpi dash rp2 so this is your raspberry pi now you need to download a script or program you can say which is known as circuit python so uh, now uh, to download uh, the circuit python i will provide the link uh, in the description box below or you can just follow this link here on the screen and if you don't know what circuit python is uh, it is a programming language to control microcontroller board like this raspberry pi pico so go to this link and download this file all right but i in my case i have already downloaded this this one now drag and drop this file inside your raspberry pi pico so i'm gonna restore down this like this i'm gonna open my raspberry pi and now drag and drop and it will disconnect your raspberry pi and reconnect as circuit python wait for a second now if you go to your pc and it has been connected as circuit python and there are lots of code has been you know a lots of file has been also generated so you can do that now now you have to turn this device this circuit python into a hid device human interaction device and to do that you can download hid library from here from this link i'm gonna click on this and download and extract the file into your system but i have already downloaded the file so i'm gonna extract the file so more option extract files in my desktop and okay now inside this leaf folder or library in sort you will find your required libraries so our target library is hid so this one you can copy this mm, copy go to circuit python go inside the leaf folder and paste it here see now it's done now you need to modify this code and to do that you can download uh, this code from here just download it into your system and extract on your pc so i'm gonna i have already downloaded this so i'm gonna extract the file already so i'm gonna extract the file into desktop okay and inside that folder you will find ducky in python you can simply copy this and go inside your circuit python and paste it here and one more thing you can delete this code right here and rename this file as circuit python i'm gonna rename it oops not circuit python as code c o d e and press enter now this code right here is written in python programming language and it will execute or it will inject the payload when your 
Raspberry Pi Pico is connected to certain device. Now, for the payload, there are tons of payload available in the internet. And if you go to this link, right here, you will find tons of payload here. See? And for the Windows 10 and 7, 10 and 11, and lots of payloads are available here. So let's try, I'm gonna click on this and you will find your payload right here. The good part of the USB, uh, this uh, Raspberry Pi Pico is you can simply put your code like this. But if you are using uh, USB rubber ducky from the hack file, you have you'd have to uh, decode this code uh, for the uh, for the USB rubber ducky. But in our case, we didn't have to decode it anymore. So we can simply copy this and paste it. Uh, or you know uh, create our own payload but in my case I'm gonna create simple payload and just uh, you also watch and you will also learn how to do that so I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna create a simple payload I'm gonna open notepad then and the payload should be like this so as soon as the Raspberry Pi Pico is connected to certain system I'm gonna delay that for thousand millisecond and after that GUIR that means Windows plus R that will pop up run command yes then I'm gonna delay oops 500 second I'm 500 millisecond again then type string note pad again delay for 500 millisecond and type the string you just got hacked or anything else you know and I forgot something here right here yeah press enter so the first command will say that as soon as the Raspberry Pi Pico is connected, it will the, the it, it, it will st start working uh, only after uh, thousand millisecond. Then it will open run command by pressing GUI means Windows plus R, and it will open run command. Then it will delay uh, for five hundred millisecond again. Then it will type Notepad in the run box and press Enter. That will open Notepad and delay another five hundred millisecond and there, uh, it will type string and uh, you just got hacked you can do this more you, you can also practice lots of lots of uh, you know uh, payloads or you can just simply copy this sort of payload right here this this one right here but uh, in our case we are going to use this simple one all right so i'm gonna save this file control yes in my desktop and name the file payload oops load dot dd exactly like this because the code written inside the python code written inside the pico raspberry pi pico uh, it will find the file payload dot dd it, it, it has been programmed already unless you don't know how to change that you know you you should keep the name just like this okay now i'm gonna change the file format to all types and save the file now I'm gonna close this and this is the file now I'm gonna open my raspberry oops circuit python and I'm going to drag and drop this file right here and warning as soon as you drop this file here the code will be executed so I'm ready to pull out this cable from right here so I'm going to drag and drop and disconnect. That was fast. <laughs> so now if I connect this device to any Windows 10 or 11 PC, what it will do? Let me show you. 
One, two, and three. Wow, that was so fast. See, so imagine you are able to, or or a hacker is able to execute a malicious code or malicious command into your system in the split second, and you won't even notice. You know, this device is able to steal your stored password or your uh, file, your credential, your blah blah blah, many things. It can do many things. Maybe it will just install uh, undetectable backdoor maybe. So that's also possible, right? Now it's working perfectly. Now uh, let's say if you want to change the code inside the Raspberry Pi Pico, I mean yeah circuit python this code uh, it's quite difficult because it will you know um, it will run as soon as you connect to the system so to reset or uh, erase the command written inside this circuit python what you will you will need okay when you connect the circuit python with your system you can press the button boot cell right on here and press that button while you connect to the system right and it's reset already as you can see but uh, it will it won't stay like this uh, if you start putting the payload and library uh, again in that um, in that circuit python so it won't stay like that so confirm the reset what you can do you can simply put this script file right here you can download from here actually this one i will put the link this will reset the memory or reset your uh, raspberry pi pico it's a script file you can just drag and drop right here it's called flash nuke so yeah we are going to nuke our raspberry pi pico so click and drag over here and it will disconnect it will reset first then disconnect and reconnect your device and as you can see it's been done now you are good to go from scratch and you can you can set up your um, this microcontroller board or your raspberry pi pico as your device as you like so that's fun right but remember guys there are tons of things and hack can be done but remember guys you know doing with a wrong intention is absolutely illegal so keep yourself keep yourself and your family or friends safe from this sort of device you know if i tell them that if you find any usb device or any sort of you know suspicious device please do not bring them home even if you bring please do not connect that device into your system ask them nicely yeah otherwise you know just kidding don't do that anything all right <laughs> so if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button and those who are new to my channel do consider to subscribe and turn on the bell notification stay safe and keep practicing i'll see you on the next video